having sung of the greatness of God, we can confidently bring him some of our concerns for ourselves and our world. A big thank you to Paul and Claire, who are going to lead us in our time of prayer now. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Lord, as we look at the sky above Rudrick rooftops this morning, we want to thank you for our lovely village, for the community of people living here, and for the beautiful countryside that surrounds us. We praise you, Lord, for the church family of Holy Trinity and for the work you continue to do in our lives. We pray for each other at this time of separation. Please watch over us. May we never lose sight of the person of Jesus Christ who binds us together. May we encourage each other in times of blessing and trial. Thank you for the faithful ministry of Martin, Sharon, Lloyd, Christy and many others who serve and inspire us to grow more like Jesus. We pray that you would continue to empower them and give them strength and peace in the midst of changing circumstances. Lord, we confess there are times when we don't honour your name, when we do things which are selfish or thoughtless. We confess the times when we lack enthusiasm and energy to speak of you to friends and family. In Jesus' name, we ask forgiveness and may we in turn Forgive others who offend or hurt us. Lord, we thank you for the good news this week of great progress with the anti-coronavirus vaccines. As the trials continue, we pray for UK and many countries across the world who are still in the grip of the pandemic. May we strive to protect one another, care for those most deeply affected by illness, loneliness, separation or unemployment. May we be creative in our communications to show the love of God in coming weeks. We thank you for our government and for those in power across the world and pray against those who would seek to corrupt or ruin nations. We pray for countries such as Syria and Yemen, where wars rage and lives are lost each month. We pray for Christian brothers and sisters in countries where they're not free to live out their faith and worship you. Give them strength and resources to carry on and to encourage one another. May we realise the freedom we have here to live as Christians and not take it for granted. Lord, we pray for those we know who are ill, injured, sad or experiencing loss at the moment. We lift them by name in our hearts to you now. Lord, may they turn to you and know you are right there beside them in their time of crisis. As a new week begins, Lord, help us to create more joy than tears, more cheer than despair. May we not become indifferent. Help us to see the wonder in the eyes of a child, or the twinkle in the eyes of the aged. May your Holy Spirit fill us so that your joy overflows to those around us, to this broken world, and to this lovely village of Rudwick. Amen. So let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today 
our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you, Paul and Claire. We're going to worship in song again now, reminding ourselves of God's goodness to us. In our contemporary service, we're going to sing Our God's Generous. Don't forget the actions. And in our more traditional service, we're going to sing the great hymn, There is a Green Hill Far Away. <laughs> 